What's up everyone, it's Fido from Self Taught Hustle back at it again. And today I wanted to break a myth that software engineers are this entity that have this copious amount of knowledge and logic within their heads, essentially an encyclopedia of a code that they can just drop onto a text editor and build the next Facebook, right? Uh, that's quite literally not the case. The way that coders go about constructing applications is via a very simple process. You may have already used it before, and this is called a Google search. So really what it consists of is that whenever a coder runs into a problem or is curious about a piece of code, as you guys have actually seen in my Escaping Tutorial Hell series, they will go ahead and Google search whatever the curiosity or problem is. What they do is that they identify keywords or essentially a key question that consists of keywords that they need answered. They will input that into a Google search or their search engine of preference, and then a list of relevant links will pop up where they then go and find the information that they need to either scratch their curiosity or resolve the current problem that they are dealing with, right? So don't think that we have all of this information in our brains. We're just really good at using search engines to identify the documentation that we need to resolve the given problem at any given time, right? So it's really important to demystify that for you guys so that you don't think that we actually have these the, the, a copious amount of libraries in our head of all this, you know, all these different languages and stuff. No, I mean, you'll see me oftentimes, I did it on the authentication application where I, I Google search something right off, of, you know, I think I was just Google searching basic HTML <laughs> in, uh, in that app. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's that's, that's I don't I, I don't have that off of memory. So, you know, go ahead and use a search engine when you need it, because it'll be one of your best friends when it comes to coding. That's all I had to say today. And I will see you guys next time.